The original tradition itself is changing. It's continually changing. At times being influenced by what is happening here. In fact, you have cross currents. Some people see what is happening here. They're also putting some of them in, into their own practice in Yoruba land. And people here and other places also look at what is happening in Yoruba land. So you have this cross fertilization. And that is the essence of any practice. Any practice, even Christianity itself, Islam, all the major religions are changing. They are not the same as uh, when they were founded. Nothing is static except change. It is change that is continuous. A internet, in the last two years, is playing a very important role. It is also democratizing muito os conhecimentos. Então você pode ver as, as discussões de pessoas que têm três, quatro anos de feitos, né? ou três ou quatro anos de participar da religião, são muito mais sofisticadas que as discussões que você ouvia há 20 anos atrás. Por quê? Porque eles têm acesso a muitas mais coisas. Antes, esse tipo de discussões só podiam ser entre pessoas com muita iniciação. E não estou falando necessariamente de segredos, estou falando de coisas teológicas, de saber o que é Ifá, da ideia que você tem do Orixá. Né? And I lived in Haiti and really came to understand the Pantanan of the African spirits. And uh, I today practice Buddhism but I am, as an African child, a Buddhist. Uh, and the government here in Brazil and in Cuba need to come to our rescue. And the leaders of African religions uh, in Brazil and in Cuba need to demand that uh, African languages like uh, Yoruba, like uh, Kikongo, be taught, not in the evening alone to those who are interested, but should be taught in school. How can you have so many African people here and no African languages uh, uh, taught? It's not right. Santeria is yet born from Africa, but yet they practice a lot of things very differently than they do in the motherland. So a lot of words, a lot of phrases, a lot of ceremonies that I have done, um, total perhaps I have maybe 35 Orishas ceremonies done, just to name a few. Uh, Ashen La, Baba Luaye, uh, Oshun, Chango, Oya, just to name a few. Uh, and I've learned that once they give you these, they don't show you how to use them. They don't give you the history behind it, the culture behind it. So what sense is it to give me Ashen La, to give me Obatala, to give me Oshun, to give me Yemenja, to give me my warriors, and not show the history behind it? That brings it to clarification.